Hello YouTube, this is Robert Ness 816 and today I'm going to be going over how to program the SG Pro Pad 2 and SG Pro Pad 6. Both controllers are the same thing. They both actually have the same model number on them, which is I think SV439. So both the same controller, just uh, I think one was sold at Walmart and this one was probably sold everywhere else. Um, Pricing wise, these things, I wouldn't pay any more than 10 bucks for one, to be honest with you. There's nothing really spectacular about them. Um, the cool thing about them is that they don't have switches that wear out, which is uh, pretty common with a lot of um, other brands that made uh, turbo controllers in this era. Um, so, ASCIIware is a perfect example of that. The uh, little switches on the arcade sticks they made in their controllers, uh, little turbo switches, wear out pretty quickly on them. Not with these, though. Let's see if I can get my autofocus to stop being stupid. Let's see. Alright, so that should work. So as far as programming the buttons for turbo, pretty easy. You're going to push auto and then your button that you want to work as auto will light up here with these LEDs. You're going to press set and then once they start flashing, that's when you know they work. So we'll look at uh, Ryu here. I have to refocus. And there you go, so pressing A, pressing uh, X, pressing Y, B, Z, and C. Pretty easy. So to erase those functions, press all the buttons again to make the LEDs turn off. Press set, and there you go. Uh, so as far as getting these shoulder buttons to work, this is the one thing that not one person I've... Not one video I've seen on YouTube has been able to uh, describe how to program these shoulder buttons. So you cannot do button combinations with these shoulder buttons, unfortunately. That would have been freaking amazing, but you can't do that. You can only program one of these buttons here to basically function as a shoulder button. So if you want A to work as your right shoulder button, you can do that, or your left shoulder button, I don't know, it's stupid, or any combination of the two. So we can do, uh, we'll start with the right shoulder button. So we'll go down to set, press the right shoulder button, and I want to do X, B, Z. So now every time when I press the right shoulder button, those LEDs will light up. Useless, if you ask me. It doesn't really do anything special on a screen. To erase the function, go to set, press it, and then there you go. So the same thing with the right one, press the, or the left shoulder button, I'm sorry, press the left shoulder button and then we'll do the exact opposite. So we'll do, uh, there we go, C, Y, and A, press set, and then there you go. So, I think I did that right, let's see, oops, don't, didn't do it right. Boom. So, there you go. Easy enough to do. So, that concludes this video, guys. Really simple to do. Um, good controllers. They're built pretty well. Their deep heads on them are actually pretty nice. Um, this is the second controller that I have like this. It's actually in pretty good condition. Um, most of the time when you find these things, the deep heads will be in pretty poor condition. These actually hold up pretty well though, but yeah, like I said, I wouldn't pay any more than 10 bucks for one of these things. That's a cool idea, but I don't know, it's a typical third party device where they change something good and try to make it into something weird, but in this case it actually worked out fairly well. So anyways, thanks for watching guys.